Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda. So today I'm filming a super fun video. Super excited to film it, but I'm quickly going to kind of just let you guys know where I've been. My last video was about two and a half months ago and it was my May is ALS Awareness Month video and I was going to do like four videos just like um for like ALS Awareness for May because it's ALS Awareness Month. I don't know. I got distracted for a second. I'm sorry. Let me get back. So I was going to film four videos for that and I never did because I was feeling like crap, was not feeling good, was not feeling myself and that's basically how it's been for the past like two months and so luckily recently I've been feeling a lot better and I really want to get back into filming and so I'm glad that I can do that and I'm going to start today. I'm going to try and do two videos a week, definitely going to get one up a week but if I can do two that will make me really happy and Secondly, my background is different, which it kind of always is, but this is kind of going to be like my set background because my dad did recently get a house and I'll be splitting my time between his house and my apartment. And I um, am going to set up a tiny little area right back here for my filming because the lighting in here is good. I'm up against a window right now, but I just kind of want to address that it's going to be a little messy for a while. We have some equipment back here we need to do some renovations for him or he you know um he's a veteran so the veterans association is going to be doing some renovations for him and it's just not going to happen for a while so i'm not going to have my like definite setup for a little bit so this is what it's going to be totally fine with it but it's going to be a little messy if that bugs you guys i'm sorry it's life today as you can tell by the video or title yeah the title i am going to be swatching all of my blue eyeshadows now i was completely and totally inspired by amanda and jessica i'm gonna link their channels they're my faves i love them so much channels and their videos down below they recently just um put up their gone with the twins update for july and that is their kind of collab together where they swatch a color each month from their collection to kind of see how many they have and I thought I would do that to keep myself accountable of how many sh basically the similar shades I have of each color and they did blue and I recently got really into blue eyeshadow because I did a, like a straight cobalt blue fun all over the lid look recently and I realized how much I like that on my eyes give me two seconds it's so hot so I recently figured out that I really like blue on my eyes. So I didn't exactly want to do the same like shades as them because I didn't want to like seem like I was copying them. But then I was like, what the heck? I was totally inspired by them. So I'm just going to do blue. I'm not trying to like copy them. I'm not a part of the collab or anything, but I just wanted to do this because they totally inspired me. I also want to give a shout out to Paula and Elizabeth who do their monthly swatching of shades and I really like that video too. So all these wonderful ladies inspire me and I'm going to link um, all their channels down below. But let's just get into it because I kind of have a lot of blue eyeshadow. I just had to restart this because my dogs are being loud so like all my palettes are kind of hectic. I'm going to start with my newest palette which is my Color Rain Lovelies palette. And the shade I'm going to be swatching is Romance. And I'm going to be straight up with you guys. When I first swatched the shade, it was super, it was pretty dry. And I feel like the more I'm swatching it, it's getting a little better. But you can see it's a little patchy. And I'm going to show you guys next um, a different palette that's way cheaper that isn't patchy. But that is Romance from the Lovelies palette by Colored Rain. Nice navy. This is the next palette I want to swatch. So this is the Royals palette by Perfusion. And this is the shade Enigma, and it's very similar to Romance, except it's like butter smooth and it swatches way better. <laughs> so obviously this one is Love, or that's from the Lovelies, this is Romance. And then this one is Enigma from Perfusion. That is their 10 pan palette called the Royals. Then we have their Shimmers palette. Sorry, I'm hiccuping that I got, or no, that I've talked about on my Instagram. And this is like just such a beautiful palette. I love it so much. And I'm gonna be swatching Atlantis. Definitely a shade I wanna do a look with before the summer ends. It's just like a beautiful, I just think of the beach. Atlantis is like the perfect shade. This is like the color of like 
blue clear ocean water you know and that's one swatch so these palettes the 10 pan palettes from um perfusion are amazing they're so good the next palette i want to swatch is the colored rain cheers to beauty palette this one's always on sale on their website and i apologize i feel like i'm blinding you guys um it's always on sale on their website so i want to say it's probably like i got mine last year for like 25 dollars I feel like it's always $25, but I really love the shades in here. They're super unique, and the formula is really nice. I'm going to be swatching Opulence, which is like a very nice cobalt blue. Shimmery cobalt blue. Look at that. Are you kidding me? It's so pretty. I'm obsessed. I have a problem. I didn't know I had so many blue eyeshadows. I have kind of a lot. Um, we're gonna go in to the Lime Crimes Plushies palette, which this is the Sweet Blends one. I think this might still be available on Ulta and the Lime Crime um, website, but I got mine over at TJ Maxx. I'm gonna be swatching Blueberry for you guys. It's like this very light blue, light matte blue, super creamy, buttery swatches beautifully. I love it. I feel like it would go with both Atlantis and Opulence. Opulence? I might be pronouncing that wrong, but that's Blueberry. I'm gonna go into my e.l.f. Modern Metals palette. Swatch this nice deep navy. How many deep navies do I have? Apparently a ton. This is kind of more of like a deep navy compared to the other ones, and it's super nice. I have not used this one on my eyes, but I feel like it'd be nice as like a liner or under the lash line. I'd be kind of afraid to put it. I'm kind of afraid to put navy in my crease, but I'm gonna test it out. But that one is from the Elf Modern Metals palette. Then I have one of my my second newest palette in my collection, was which is the Elf 18 Hit Wonders palette. Do I need more eyeshadow? No, but I could not, couldn't help myself. So I'm going to be swatching this bright blue called Electric and then Royal, which is kind of a purpley blue, but I feel like it leans a lot more blue than purple. I'm going to do a different finger. I'm not flipping you guys off. My other finger is just like totally stained um, blue and I don't want to like not give you guys proper swatches. Holy crap, I need to use that on my eyes. Do you see that? That is so pretty. It's like... I feel like blueberry is kind of a like more chilled out shape of this you know this one's like way bright and poppy and I'm obsessed with it and I need to use that shade so that's electric from the elf 18 hit 18 hits palette 18 hit wonders palette and then royal is this kind of royal blue shade down here I don't is this gonna be blue it's a blue purple. It kind of has like a shift, but it's definitely like blue purple. It's that right there. This is super hard to have my hand like this, so I so hope you guys can see it. But that one is royal. And there's more guys, there is more. Next, let's do my BH Cosmetics palette. So we have the BH Color Festival palette, and I want to share with you guys my like favorite blue I own I think at the moment this is the one that I put on for my cobalt blue look and it's just like it's so good it's like the perfect blue it's so bright I feel I put another blue on it might have been opulence I can't remember it was a deeper cobalt and I really wanted something brighter so I topped it with this shade did I even show you guys it I'm sorry this is denim and it is stunning um we're gonna start swatching on my wrist so that is denim right here and it is so pretty it is just such a pretty blue and then there's also hollow which is kind of cruddy i'm gonna be straight up with you guys it is not a very good shade um i feel like you definitely need a glitter glue where am i gonna swatch this you definitely need a glitter glue but i mean it's like can you see that right there? It's quite pretty, but it just does not apply well. 
it was a shade I got in my first um palette bingo and I basically got like these four shades or these three shades hollow and then experience so it was not a good look so I need to play with it more but so far I'm just not like it does not swatch well denim is way better I love denim then I'm gonna go to the other hand because I don't think this is gonna work um I have my desert oasis palette by BH and I have hot springs and turquoise turquoise is kind of a little more um gray and then obviously hot springs is a lot more cobalt and these are both really pretty i have nothing but good things to say about this palette it is so pretty yeah it's definitely like a silvery blue the turquoise shade um but hot springs and turquoise i don't know why that's called turquoise because it's not turquoise but it's okay it's super pretty I love this formula. I love BH's new formula. I have Desert Oasis, obviously Color Festival, and I think that's it. But their formulas are so good. Obviously, there's like hits and misses. I'll be honest though, the Desert, no, Desert Oasis, I'm sorry, this is not Desert Festival. The Desert Oasis, like, I don't think there's any bad shades in here. I'll be honest, I haven't tried every one, but I've tried a lot of these shades, and they're so good. So, if you guys want me to do a tutorial with this, I definitely will do that. I might just do it anyways, you know? <laughs> I might just do it, because I want to. And then, I have one ColourPop palette, and this is their Mar palette. And the shade I'm going to be swatching is, I think it's called Detour. And it is this matte cobalt. And this one... Ooh, bitch. That would go so good with hot springs. Look at that. That's so pretty. I need to use that. I'm going to say that a lot and then look, I'm not going to use these like before the year ends. I'll try. But that one is Detour and it swatches super nicely. Like I didn't think it was going to be that vibrant, but it's definitely more vibrant than it looks in the pan, which I feel like's good. I have a hair on my lip. If that's been there, I'm so sorry, guys. That's gross. Um... I think it's better for it to be like more vibrant when you swatch it because you kind of have that good surprise and like it being crappy when you swatch it so that was detour this is a depressing palette because i wish i didn't love it as much as i do it's the wet n wild stop playing it safe i had like five of these um 10 pan palettes and i'm only keeping two two of the ones that i think are super unique to my collection this is one of them so i'm going to be swatching this shade in this shade and I did already swatch this shade for the first time in um when I was filming this I had already filmed this but my dog's interrupted and it's ridiculously good so I guess that the lighter blues a kind of leans has some like green in it but it's similar ish to turquoise from BH cosmetics so that is the light blue and then look at that it's like kind of shimmery, a little satin, but definitely has like more shimmer, but not like sparkly. And it's so buttery and it just blended out so nicely when I swatched it. <sighs> what and wild, why you gotta be shady, you know? Why you gotta do that? And next, we're gonna go into a palette I'm super excited that I have. Um, this is one of my favorite palettes at the moment. I love it. It is the Revolution Proud of My Life palette. It, sorry if it blinded you this is what it looks like it is kind of like a neutrally rainbow palette is what i would consider it because it has your like neutrals but it also has the like colors you'd want to use this hot pink is bomb as hell that's all i'm gonna say about it if you guys want a tutorial let me know so oh i should show you i'm gonna swatch this shade which is like it's blue but it has a little turquoise in it but it definitely um leans more blue and then this shade which is kind of has a little bit of purple in it but again, it leans more blue. Oh, I think I'm getting hard pan on it. It is they, Okay, this one I don't think is that good. That's one thing about their smaller pan palettes is I think they're not the greatest. Like, I'm pretty sure I've swatched that shade like two or three times in general. And I feel like I've already got hard pan on it. Like, I feel like I can't get a swatch out of it. I literally can't. Damn, that sucks. I'm going to kind of scrape some of it off. 
So I need a good swatch. That's annoying. So don't buy it for just that shade because it's not the best. Ooh, but yeah, this. <laughs> so this is that turquoisey blue matte shade. That one I've worn. I wore in the cobalt blue look, I think. No. I did a turquoise look and this worked really well with it and I feel like it blended out okay. Decent. I need to try it again. And then there is that purpley blue that did not swatch well at all. A little disappointed in that one, but out of all of these that I've tried so far, out of all of these I tried so far, I'd say having one that I don't like is okay. I have a puppy. Hello puppy. Oh, hi. I have five more palettes. <laughs> I have the Artist Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have a Blue Velvet and Unicorn. I'm going to swatch both of those. This is old. I really need to use it. I really want to pan Dusty Rose because I have it in my um, soft lid. Okay. So Unicorn is right here. And then Blue Velvet is right here. Super pretty, nice and pigmented and buttery. I'd say that from this palette formula to their newer ones, the newer ones are definitely a little better. But this is really good too. Then we got Subculture. We got Axis. Yes, B. I have not worn this one either. Is this going to be more green? Oh, crap. Okay, guys, that's a little more green than I thought it was going to be. It's like a bluish green. It's like a deep blue turquoisey shade, but I feel like it definitely leans a tad more green, but we're just, you know, we're just going to work with it. We're going to keep her there. You know? We have um, the Afrique palette by Jubia's. We're saving the best for last, you know? And this one has, oh God, I'm not going to pronounce these right. Cote, Cote d'Ivory, d'Ivory, this one, this bright ass cold like blue. Where is that one gonna go? I'm just gonna put that one. Oh. This one, not the greatest place to swatch, but it's right there. Do you see that beautifulness? Oh my God. That is so pretty. And then, caught to know, not gonna, <laughs> did not pronounce that well at all either is like a very deep blue I guess it's kind of a blue purple it's similar to these two shades except like you know way better that is that one right there I cannot get over those Juvia's Place formula is great I, I'll be honest if I had to get rid of all my shadow palettes they'd be the first to get back in the collection and then I have my <laughs> the magic mini palette this one has like four blues in it so i'm wearing this one on the inner corner today i really really like it especially with the oranges and i'm wearing this whole palette so i'm wearing these two shades i'm wearing this shade kind of in my crease to blend in everything together these two shades this in the crease this to deepen it at, um to deepen everything up and then this on the oh this on the lid this on the inner corner, it was a really quick look and I really like how it turned out. So I'm going to go with the lighter shades first. So I have Emoja and Bi, which are kind of silvery blues, but still super pretty. Still blue. Still in the blue family, those two. I like them a lot. And then I have Eve and Yejid. I'm trying, okay guys? I'm trying to pronounce that. I think Eef is a little more purple, but it, it pulls it pulls blue. Oh. It's a purple blue. So this one is Yed Yed I think <laughs> is how you pronounce it. And then this one is the Eve shade. And I love it. And we're on to the last blue shadow I own. If you guys have been counting, that's awesome. I haven't. So I'll tell you guys all at the end how many I own. But the last shade is from oh, the Nubian palette. 
and it is Cleopatra. It might not be like in the same frame because I had to flip it over, but okay. So we have the Nubian 2 Cleopatra, which is again, a deeper navy, shimmery navy shade. And I'm gonna put it right here. And that is my last blue. So we got some similar shades. Um, I'm noticing a lot of my blues are matte. That's surprising. But obviously I buy a lot of my shadows and palettes, so I don't really like choose that. But I have, Twenty-five. Twenty-five blue eyeshadows. That's crazy. But, oh crap guys. Twenty-seven, because I have the denim and hollow right here. Twenty-seven blue eyeshadows. I have almost thirty blue eyeshadows. I have an eyeshadow problem. I feel like I need to do a whole eyeshadow series, like my palette collection. And like, obviously I'm going to keep swatching shades, so I kind of have a, um an idea of like what my collection is because I never need to buy blue again in my life if I have literally 30 shades. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm just adding this in at the end. I realized I forgot a shadow. So 28 <laughs> blue eyeshadows. I have this one from the I Got This palette from Essence. It is called Get Lucky. It's like a deeper navy shimmery blue. I would need to see how it is over primer, but overall I do love this palette, side note. Um, but that is Get Lucky, and that is my 28th blue eyeshadow. Almost 30. So there we have it guys, 27 blue eyeshadows, that's crazy. But I guess watching them out makes me really wanna play with them. Like, I really wanna play with Electric from, um, col not ColourPop, from the, uh, 18 Hit Wonders palette from e.l.f. And then this is from the Afrique palette. Afrique? Is that what it's called? Afrique palette from Jumia's Place. This is like that bright ass blue. They're quite similar. This is a little darker. But I want to play with that one. Um, these two shades. Is it awful that I can't remember where they're from? Oh god, that's terrible. Anyways, I'd love to play with these two shades. And it's gonna really bother me that I don't know. Oh! This one is Atlantis from um, the Perfume and Shimmers palette. So that is one shade I wanna play with. So this video has really helped me figure out like, hey bitch, part of my language, but hey lady, let's get our life together. Play with blue eyeshadow and also don't buy any more blue eyeshadow. I'm overall quite happy with every blue I have. Cause if you guys like, obviously throughout this video, I feel like I really only said like two or three of them weren't that great and they're mostly from the um the makeup revolution palette and then whatever this one is is not that good either i can't remember isn't that awful so most of the blues in my collection i really enjoy just need to play with them more and actually put them on the eye i have some sad puppies out here who really want to come hang out so i'm gonna end this video here um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very happy that I filmed something today. I hope you guys liked that. If you guys want to comment down below how many blue eyeshadows you have in your collection, if you have counted, please let me know. I'm really hoping that someone will tell me they have like 40 so I don't feel as bad. I must stop babbling. I was watching Young Ron and Polish the other day and she said she's really bad at outros and so am I. <laughs> so I'm going to say bye. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate you. You have a wonderful day. Bye.